Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pretty fun one. Um, we are coming into a close on the end of 2020, which, thank God, um, this year has been a lot of what none of us expected. And I'm just ready for 2021. I'm ready to get on through with it. So, with the year coming to a close, I'm realizing I didn't get my TBR as down as I wanted it to be this year. So I do have quite a few books I want to finish before 2020 ends, and I'm going to be sharing them with you today. So I do have a stack of, I believe, about nine books here, and I'm hoping to finish them in the next month. But without any further ado, let's get into the books I want to finish. So the first book genuinely pains me to say that I have not finished this book, but it is House of Earth and Blood, the first book in the Crescent City series by Sarah J. Mass. I believe the next one is set to come out early next year. I haven't finished it. I really haven't finished it. I have no words for why I haven't finished it. I'm 100 pages in. I need to get started and get cracking. I'm determined to finish. Like if I finish any book out of the stack, it's, it's gonna be Crescent City. I'm determined to finish it this year. If for some reason you don't know what House of Earth and Blood is about, essentially we are following Bryce Quinlan who is dealing with the recent murder of her best friend and she is assigned an archangel by the name of Hunt Athelar and they are teamed up to try and find out who actually committed the murder. So sounds pretty juicy. I've been really into true crime and um I just I haven't finished it and I'm really determined to finish it this year so it's very exciting. All right the next book I would like to finish before 2020 is over is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I have not yet started this but I have been hearing so many good things and I am in a really really big audiobook mood as well as physical reading but more specifically audiobook and I've heard nothing but great things about the Red Rising trilogy, Red Rising Golden Sun and then What's the last one called? It just came out, didn't it? I don't remember, but I've heard nothing but great things about the audiobooks for them, so I did find it on audio, and I am going to be picking it up in the month of December. And I don't know, I'm really, really interested. It is kind of, from what I've heard of, a mix of Hunger Games and Game of Thrones. And essentially, we are following Darrow, who is a red. And essentially, reds are like the lowest form of the caste system in this society and in the society you are born into your class and you stay in your class and Darrow isn't really happy with this so he is determined to become a gold which is the highest caste system and we follow Darrow's story. I don't know anything else about it besides that. Really I just fancily said the inside synopsis but i'm very excited to get to red rising in the month of december and finish it before 2020 actually i might pick it up this weekend it's november when i'm filming this the next book is the gilded ones by Anamina forna i really want to get to it this year this is kind of like a cheat book though because if i don't get it to it this year i'm totally okay with finishing it either in early january or february this book does release in april of 2021 i believe and i did receive it in a fairy loot as an early arc or i think it was just an early release that fairy loot gave out so i do want to read it before it comes out because i feel like it would have been pointless to have gotten it before it came out you know what i'm saying it says are we girls or are we demons? Are we going to die or are we going to survive? In this bold and immersive fantasy, a young heroine fights to save a world that would dare tame her and discovers she is her own fiercest weapon. I love that. I really love that. Um, and this was, I have been crafting my most anticipated releases for 2021 because I want that to actually come out on time instead of my 2020 video that came out like in April. But, um, I have been crafting that for about the past like month, month and a half, just scouring the internet. Whenever a new release comes up, I add it to the TBR. But this had been on my list and it was on my Amazon wish list for pre-order before I received it in a fairy loot crate box. Um, but it's not that long either and I think I will be able to finish it. So I'm very excited to get to it this year or again early next year. The next book I am hoping and praying I get to this year is Wicked Fox by Cat Cho. I had talked about 
vicious spirits on my most anticipated of 2020 release video and i never even got to wicked fox i was so excited to get to it but i never ended up getting to it um essentially we were following 18 year old gumi young who is a gumi ho a nine-tailed fox who survives by consuming the energy of men which don't we all um i am really 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 excited to get to this and i have been recently informed that uh vicious spirits is not in the same series it's a companion novel so it's not following like a sequential story it's just a companion novel about a character in wicked fox i believe i don't know which character obviously because i haven't read the book i am very very excited to read wicked fox and again i've just been in a really like fantasy mood and I've heard nothing but great things about these books, so I really need to get to them. The next book is one I'm very, very excited about personally, and it is going to be The Last Wish by Andrzej Swakowski. And this is the first, and I believe two, short stories that come before The Witcher series. So I found it on audiobook, and you bet your bottom dollar I will be reading it or listening to it in December. I have been in a really, really big, again, high fantasy mood, and I think that The Last Wish will be really hitting all the sweet spots for me. So I personally have not played the video games. I have watched my brothers play the video games. So it was very entertaining to watch, um, but I have not played the video games, and I'm holding out on watching the television show until I read the book first. So. The next book is going to be Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. It was a really great year so far for me and Lee Bardugo. I felt like I really enjoyed everything I read from her. And I'm hoping that we can finish it off strong with Shadow and Bone and maybe squeeze this into my top 20 of 2020 video that I am planning on doing at the beginning of the year. Um, I can already tell you one Lee Bardugo book will be in the top five it will be for you guys to check that video out to see what it places as but shadow and bone i've heard so many great things about and especially since it is becoming adapted into a hulu television show um i really wanted to get into it um shadow and bone is part of the grisha verse trilogy and we are following um similar aspects but a different crew of characters from the six of crows six of crows i believe chronologically would come after the shadow and bone trilogy so i just want to finish shadow and bone this year that's really it i don't know but um we are following alina starkov and alina starkov is a grisha and she has magical abilities star power if you will and this is very very coveted after and sought after in this world the next book i hope to get to before the end of 2020 is going to be the poppy war by rf kong i've been seeing so many amazing bookish vlogs about the poppy war and again this is another one that if i get to early next year i'll be happy because i do want to get to the other books um, within the series. So I'll read the top blurb for you really quickly. It just says, she is a peasant, she is a student, she is a soldier, she is a goddess. When Rin aced the Keiju, the empire-wide test to find the most talented youth to study at the academies, it was a shock to everyone, to the test officials who couldn't believe a war orphan from Rooster Province could pass without cheating, to Rin's guardians who always thought they'd be able to marry Rin off to further their criminal enterprise, and to Rin herself who realized she was now finally free of the servitude and despair that had made up her daily existence that she got into Syngard the most elite military school in the Nakara Empire was even more surprising but surprises aren't always good I've heard this book is a little bit not gruesome but just it's very war heavy so it's a little bit harder to digest I would assume but I did find it on audiobook how many times can I talk about my stupid audiobooks but I really highly suggest them we have one more audiobook, don't worry. So the final like novel that I'm hoping to finish in 2020 is going to be A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. This is the second book in the Darker Shades of Magic trilogy, followed by Conjuring of Light. So we left off pretty hot and heavy. Sorry, not hot and heavy. We left off in a pretty juicy spot at the end of A Darker Shade of Magic. This is a middle book in a series though, so I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. I will just give a synopsis of the 
first book. So in the first book, we are following Kel and he is a, the hell is he called again? I love how I was really gonna try and like remember to give you a description. I'm just gonna read the back of the first book because I suck at this. Um, so, prepare to be dazzled by a world of parallel Londons where magic thrives, starves, or lies forgotten and where power can destroy just as quickly as it can create. Welcome to Grey London, dirty and boring without any magic, with one mad king, George III. Then there's Red London, where life and magic are revered, and White London, a city slowly being drained through magical war, down to its very bones. And once upon a time, there was a Black London, but no one speaks of that now. Officially, Kel is the Red Traveler, one of the last magicians who can travel between the worlds, acting as an ambassador and messenger between the Londons in the service of the Mauritius Empire. Unofficially, he's a smuggler, which is a dangerous hobby for him to have as proved when Kel stumbles into a setup with a forbidden token from Black London. Fleeing into Grey London, Kel runs afoul of Delilah Bard, a kept purse with lofty aspirations who first robs him, then saves him from a dangerous enemy, and then forces Kel to spirit her to another world for a proper adventure. The perilous magic is afoot, and treachery lurks at every turn. To save all of the worlds, Del first needs to stay alive. I don't know why that was so hard for me to get out. But anyways, A Darker Shade of Magic. Highly recommend it. Book two. A little bit thicker. Don't they look so good too? Anyways, audiobook also found it. I will be listening to it on audio. It is a little bit of a thicker book and I've heard that this is the most interesting because in this book we are following a magical competition. I don't think I've said any other word to describe how I'm feeling, but excited this video. And the final book is kind of a cheat, but it is Waiting for Spring Volume 1. And this is a manga comic manga comic series just manga series sorry don't know why that was hard for me to get out but um essentially we are following like a really fun team of basketball boys and i believe it's one girl and like a whole basketball team doesn't it sound exciting anyways um but we are following a girl who befriends the basketball team and she gets to make friends see the possibility of lasting connections really seems good but anyways i wanted to get more into manga in, t in 2020 um and i haven't read that much so this is probably the shortest and quickest manga i have on hand i could have chosen like death note or a couple other books that will be included in a small haul coming up soon it's not small the other like shorter books like this i have it's just graphic novels and i really wanted to pick a manga so i think this will be fun and cute and hopefully really short to get through. So those are the nine books I hope to finish before 2020 ends. I guess this could also stand in as my December TBR because we're running out of time. Um, I feel like this year has flown by really fast despite how it has been. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I will try and have every book I talked about linked down below so that you can access a better synopsis than I gave because I guarantee mine are compared to what it really is. That is going to be it for today's video. So I hope you guys are all having a great day. I hope you guys are staying safe out there and enjoy the rest of 2020 and especially the holiday season. I am going to have a lot of like shorter, not as talky videos for the rest of the year. So that will definitely be taking a lot of my rambling time away from me, but I still do wish you guys a happy rest of the year and happy holidays and hope that they are safe. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.